how is it going samsung users mr android here welcome back to a brand new video on this channel guys i've got some great news for all samsung users well guess what we already got our first look at the upcoming one ui 7.0 the samsung's one ui 7 based on android 15 is now official and this is what it looks like this major update is expected to bring some significant ui changes and the first thing you'll notice is how different the icons look on the home screen. According to rumors and some leaked screenshots, Samsung is finally redesigning the app icons and this is how they are going to look. Honestly, I kind of like the new icons in One UI 7. I mean they look modern, colorful and even though these icons still retain the shape and overall aesthetics of the One UI design language, they still look so vibrant and punchy which actually make these icons pop on your home screen. Apart from this, we now have the option to choose between two different layouts for our home screens. If you want, you can get this clean look where we do not have app labels and even the text below the icons has been removed, giving you a clean looking home screen without any text or labels. You can decide whether you want to go with minimalistic look or stick with the traditional looking home screen with all the labels and text. Next, we also have our first look at Samsung's implementation for live activities which seems heavily inspired by the pill-shaped dynamic island that we have on iPhones. The only difference is that we will have the small tiny pill on the top left showing all the ongoing functions such as calls, stopwatch, voice recording, music controls and more. Tapping on this bring up an expanded view just like on iOS. Another interesting change is the way how the notification center and the quick settings are being separated in two different panels. Now when you swipe from the right side, it just opens the quick settings and swiping from the left, you can access all your notifications. Talking about the quick settings panel, we now have two separate sliders, one for the brightness and the other one is to control your phone's volume. This is something which is already present on most Android skins like Oxygen OS and even the Hyper OS. I am glad Samsung has finally added the volume slider so you don't have to keep pressing the volume keys all the time. Apart from this, they have also changed the shape a bit and now the quick settings panel looks rounder than before. Guys, even the camera UI is getting a redesign and Samsung is finally moving all the controls to the bottom of the screen making it much easier to use with one hand. Another change that I'm really excited to see is the brand new animations. Finally, we will be getting all new and improved animations in the upcoming One UI 7. As per the leaks and rumors, Samsung is going all out with the animations and now we are getting much smoother and fluid animations on Samsung phones. Once I get the One UI 7 update on this phone, I'll be comparing the animations with iOS and even the Oxygen OS which I think currently feels much smoother and better than One UI. Overall, the One UI 7 is bringing some major UI changes and you can expect the first beta to arrive as early as next week or the upcoming month. So if you own a latest Galaxy flagship, then you can easily enroll for the beta through the Samsung members application. Guys, once I receive the update on my S24 Ultra, I'll be making a separate video showing you the entire installation process. So stay tuned for that. And that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys like this video, then be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I am Mr. Android and I'll see you guys in the next one.